What is up, people of YouTube, and welcome to my channel. It's your boy, David Nemo Harris Norton. And today, I am ranking the top 10 greatest PlayStation games ever. Now, before I get into uh, ranking the games, I'm just letting you guys know, I'm trying to form this team on YouTube. It's called the Neem Team. All you have to do is follow these four easy steps that's compiled on the screen right now. Follow the steps, join the Neem Team today. And plus it's free, so what do you gotta lose? But anyway, when you start out a top 10, ranking the top 10 greatest games ever on PlayStation, and by the way, I'm not doing the new gen because it just came out and some of the games is not proven yet. But when you start out a top 10, you gotta start out, you gotta do the honorable mentions. But first, I see a game here that shouldn't even be on here. Alright? Where is it at? Good one I just Oh yeah, the worst Call of Duty game ever to be made. Infinite Warfare doesn't even deserve to be even nowhere near. I got games right here. That is literally the worst game ever made by, by Call of Duty and Treyarch. What are you doing? That game is terrible. But on to the honorable mention. Now, when you start working out an honorable mention, it has to be some nostalgia. Hmm. Uh, got another game to get rid of. Uh, Taz, should I punt it or should I throw it in the trash? Are you are you serious right now? 06 is better. <laughs> Guys, I got my brother on the camera. For anyways, arm um, meshes. You know what? This start out sound like. This sound like when you start out arm um, meshes. We're gonna go with a good old classic from a play, from a PlayStation 2. And if I pull this down, I'll be highly upset. Take it this whole sweet old time. Do, 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 do. We got under Need for Speed Underground 2. Let's get in there. We're going to zoom in real quick. Underground 2. So we got Need for Speed Underground 2. Easy clap, easy mention. Honorable mention. Can't have maybe on a list without it. But it's not top 10. And I got another open space for another honorable mention. Which, hmm. What we thinking? What we thinking? Definitely got to go with the Duke Nukem. Classic, but never really played it as a kid. But always wanted to, but not, but wasn't allowed to play it. So, you know what? I'm put out for nostalgic moments. Put out the honorable mention. Boom. Honorable mention is done. Need to see underground. Duke Nukem. All right. Now on to the actual top 10. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Who should I put at number 10? You know what? Growing up, I was used a kid. I wasn't really good at um, sports games, but I was a phenomenal at this one at uh, this sports game. And if you already haven't guessed it, the best NBA game that the best game that NBA ever made. Is it NBA Live? Is it NBA 2K? It's NBA Streets. Come on, for the PlayStation 2. Easy. Easy number 10. Can't get any better than NBA Streets. Can't. You can't. Nope. Now, following the theme of Streets, you know you have to put... You can't have NBA Streets out there by having NFL Streets, you know? Yo, y'all don't even know about NFL Streets. I'm from the, look, I'm from a small town, Linderwald, but it's the hood. And this is why I used to play as, a, play as a kid on the PlayStation 2. We used to play pickup games with my boys. And I, I used to take people's money, just, um, just saying. We used to take a lot of money. Whew. Game that used to make me big time. Now, Moving on to number eight. For number eight, I, it's simple enough right now. Because nobody in here, especially, uh, especially these Zoomers, don't know nothing about the beam struggle. You do not know about the beam struggle. All you know about them stupid button mash things. The beam struggle was the make or break of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And if you suck at the beam struggle, well, you just sucked at the game, as far as I'm concerned. Master at the Beam Struggle, what's the game? 
then if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, you think anything other than uh, Budokai should be on this list, you're just you're just high. You're just, you're just wrong. I don't I don't believe you. Boom. Number eight. Ten. Dragon Ball Z. Tenkai Ishi. Three. Now. Number seven. You know what? We haven't had any placing exclusives on here at all, have we? I gotta go with Infamous. Without a doubt, Infamous. They just had um, second, Infamous Second Son. Came out not that long ago. I've yet to play it. Well, I remember when Infamous came out on PlayStation 3, just playing this game and just, it's going nuts. Like, the things you can do in this game is, it was just ahead of its time. Second Son. Do gotta get around to play it, but until I do, I'm gonna play Infamous One, Infamous One, PS3. Oh, yeah, let's just see what we got here. Got a lot of PlayStation Two and Three games. Huh? Hmm. Now the finish out from through the first five. Good ass. I think you need to have a game that's not even nostalgic on both PlayStation, but also nostalgic on Xbox and PC. So if you haven't guessed it already, you know I gotta go. I gotta put Minecraft on there. There's, there's no way I can't put Minecraft on it. First up, shout out to Dream. Let's get sipping for Dream in the comments. Number six, boom, Minecraft. Just the fact that if you haven't played Minecraft, you're just a dweeb. Because Minecraft is so nostalgic. You can play on any console, you can play on both consoles. And you play on PC? Damn, whew, I don't even get me started. Now, on to the top five. Let's see what we got. Let's, let's go through, quickly go through. We had our um, back five. We had NBA Streets, NFL Streets, Dragon Ball Z, Wukai Tenkaichi 3, Infamous, and Minecraft. Ooh. Ooh, man, let's see what we, see we got Crash Bandicoot on the board. Spyro's on the board. Tell you want to show us a little bit of Spyro. Tack. Burnout. But you know what? You know what? Put the camera on me. Go for the test. Yeah. Guys, remember when we used to uh, be little kids? And we used to have the best racing game ever? Well, the best racing game after that used to be after on the PlayStation 2. And this, by far, there's no other... Is ahead of its time. There's no ever going to be a racing game with this as much hype. That's even a sec. Look at this. I'm going to see what we get. Oh. Nah. Yeah. Look at that. Midnight on the PlayStation 2. Midnight Club. Ooh, street racing. Best racing game to ever come out. On placing it by far, easy number five. Where's the team? Easy, easy the um, the best game ever. Great for racing standpoint. Boom. You gotta love Midnight Club. If you don't like Midnight Club, well, screw you. Now on to number four. Hmm, what can type type Midnight Club? You know what? I gotta go with the classic. It's gotta go with the classic. Cult classic. They had to bring it back before they can finish out the series. And it's one of the first games that should get PlayStation going. So if you don't already know, or if you're not a big fan of PlayStation, which I don't know why wouldn't you be, because PlayStation is the best. But anyway, a classic for me, nostalgic for my whole entire family, and I know for a lot of people that grew up when I grew up, can't have, can't have a list without Crash Bandicoot. Oh god, oh god, why is it so high? Why is it so high? Oh, not my phone, no. Yo, leave me alone. I'm short. Alright, I'm short. Alright. Hold up, I need a chair. Alright. Number four. Oh, number four. 
crack. Shut up, drug people cry. Ah! No, 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 please don't fall, please don't fall. Sorry. Listen, I'm short, okay? I'm only 5'6", five, 5'7", five, all right? I can't, that everybody can be 6'10", all right? I'm not 6 feet tall, leave me alone, all right? Short people have feelings too. I'm totally Kevin Hart though. 5'5", five, five, man. Anyway, on to number three. Now, back to the PlayStation exclusive. Now, this is one of my favorite games of all time, but it's not number one. And without this game, there's another game. Without this game, PlayStation would never have been where, where, where it is today. And it's been a while since we had one. But I'm waiting for the fourth part of this game to come out. Ah, I see you looking, Taz. What's that? What's that? What's that? Go, uh, 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 uh. Well, follow me real quick. Because you gotcha. It's got a war. Hit Taz with the old fake out. So, what you got pre on or the people that are just tuning in that, that are brand new to the channel? If you don't know Taz, Taz is my little brother. He's been in a couple of videos before, now he's being cameraman today. And right now he's a little ticked off because he. He's a hardcore gamer like me, but that's how you feel about this list so far. Yo, we gotta talk about your list, cause some Ooh. of this, we really do gotta talk about your list. Cause some but anyway, of these games. you're done. Back on me. Top two. Who's making the cut? Who's making the cut? You know what, I had Spyro making the cut for easy top three, top two, but then, and you remember the difficulties I had playing that game. Ah. Ooh, Call of Duty. I didn't even say Call of Duty. I said I did Clown into the Warfare. You know what? I must go with this game. I really must go with this game. Because now it's nostalgic. Not only was it ahead of its time, knowing that I have a good only did I have a good time playing it. My siblings had a great time playing it. Me and my brother were definitely the best ones at it. All in all, it took the best, most skill, the most time and preparation to build upon. I think it's an eSport. You think it's an eSport? If it ain't, it should, right? Which one? Which one is easy? I'm surprised you haven't got it yet, Dad. Like, There's literally. a few on my head. So which one? Which one? Well, you know, this is on the list for a reason, right? This is on the board for a reason. Well, everybody knows, War That War is probably the better one. But not Black Ops, because Black has kicked off all the zombies. So, yeah, I'm going with Splashdown. Splashdown, the reason why I'm going with Splashdown as number two is because it was ahead of his time, once again, very nostalgic. Probably the greatest water sports racing game ever. It should have, it should have had an eSports for it. Because, listen, you gotta get good at really good at the match, get good at picking your player, as well as getting the tricks to get back your booze. That and me and my siblings had a blast at it. Well, Oh, you thought I was talking about you, Taz, when I was talking about siblings. I met my sister, me and my sister had a blast at We had a couple, if but we got... you ever say World at War is anywhere compared to Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and MW2, I'm going to slap you. Well, I don't know what you're mad, but World at War was close to being on this list. 
NW2. Boys close the NBA list. Boy, that doesn't even matter right now. Because we're on to the number one spot. What is... What does it take to be the best game that PlayStation has ever made? I can see, that's easy. You need to have a game that has one, a cult following. Two, has a large fan base. Three, you just have a great time playing the game. You may have raised a couple times, but you have a great time playing this game. And five, well, it just never gets out of play. So that is why I am choosing not one, not two, not three. It had more games as well. Yeah, yeah, Dad. Yeah, I see you, Dad. You, you right know. Ah, Kingdom Hearts three. Listen. Kingdom Hearts is the greatest PlayStation game that ever made because it's the first time ever you have the powerhouse that Square Enix created between Final Fantasy and the mouse, the House of Mouse has ever created. And they, but they had us waiting for almost two decades to get three. And they, you know how great this is? You know how great this is? Not only did they have one and two, they had a 2.8. Then they went over to Nintendo and they broke it down to the backstory of the lore. Like, you can't get any better than that. Man, this like, cannot get any better than Kingdom Hearts 3. This game's a masterpiece. It's long. It has very difficulty. As well as beat the game you on proud, you get an extra move. So, being dumb part. And plus, who doesn't love the combo of Dizzy and Final Fantasy? If you don't like that, then you're just not a gamer. But anyway, let's cut to the outro. I'm happy. Well, there you have it. The great GOAT, which King Hearts tops everybody and all PlayStation. Maybe, will we see the new gen take over? Who knows? Will we see a possible four from Kingdom Hearts? Maybe not. But that doesn't take away the nostalgia fine. Now, if you watch all the way up to this end and you haven't followed all of the four easy steps, here they are again. And after you've done it, join the day. Now, I really hope you hope you people enjoyed this video. Please comment below your favorite game of all time. And please, if you do agree. Let me know if you don't. Wow. Right down in the comments we're just talking about it, alright? And also, follow me on my follow me on social. Both links to my social will be in the description. But anyways, this has been real you people of YouTube. It's your boy David Nemo. Everyone, sign out to that song.